Hi guys! So this video is very, 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 very highly requested and finally, gagawin ko na siya now. So ang dami sa inyong nagtatanong kung ano ba dapat yung i-expect pagpapasok ng med school. Specifically, first year med school. So yun, lahat ng sasabihin ko in this video, um, from experience talaga siya ng mga higher batch or yung mga tapos na first year. And without further ado, let's get started. So yung first thing is, it's gonna be hard. So yun talaga yung una kong sasabihin kasi it's true. Sobrang hirap na med school in general. Pero parang for me, pinakamahirap yung first year. Although sabi nila yung third year daw talaga yung pinakamahirap. Pero mahirap yung first year in a sense na nag adjust ka pa lang. Nandun ka sa adjustment stage. Kasi hindi siya parang college. Sobrang ibang iba siya from college. And alam mo yung feeling na parang pagdating mo ng college, ang dali lang pala ng high school. So parang ganun din yung med school. Pagdating mo ng med school, hindi naman sa madali yung college. Pero parang mas grabe yung inaaral ngayon sa med school as compared to college. And then, kailangan mo talaga mag-adjust kasi yung study habits mo nung college, sometimes hindi siya mag apply perfectly sa med school. So, ganun yung nangyari sa akin nung college. Lagi ako nag all nighter uh, Minsan, mag-nap muna ako pagkarating and then sa ako mag-aaral. And then, ngayon, parang, ewan ko, hindi na siya nag-work. Maybe because sobrang pagod. So, nung first year ako, lagi ako nag-experiment on paano mag-aaral, on what time's the best, and kung if okay ba na mag-notes ako on yellow pad, on bond paper. Pero ngayon, I realized na mas okay sa akin mag-notes pag yung sa mga index cards. So yun, parang yung point is, don't be afraid na mag-explore kung ano yung mag-work for you na study habits. And then next is, your end math won't matter. Kasi ang dami nagtatanong sa inyo, kailangan ko ba mga 99, ganyan-ganyan. Pagdating nyo sa med school of choice nyo, yung end math nyo, hindi na siya tinatanong at all. Parang disregarded na siya. Siguro important lang yung end math, yes, para makapasok ka dun sa school of choice mo. But after that, wala na. Hindi na siya tinatanong ever. So yun, I guess just do your best sa NMAT nyo pa rin. Pero I'm just saying na pagdating nyo sa med school, hindi na tinatanong yung NMAT. Next is, your pre-med won't matter. Ang dami, sobrang daming nagtatanong sa inyo, anong kukunin kong pre-med kung gusto kong mag-OB? Anong kukunin kong pre-med kung gusto kong mag-surgery? Okay ba yung psych if gusto kong mag-psychiatry? For me, and sa napapansin ko din, hindi talaga nag-matter yung pre-med mo. Maybe, may ibang advantage yung ibang tao Oh, like let's say sa PT, um, may advantage sila sa anatomy during first year. Pero after that, syempre may mga ibang subjects din na wala na, hindi na nila masyadong gamay. So walang perfect pre-med course. Please remember that. Kung ano yung gusto niyang kunin na pre-med course, kunin nyo, huwag niyong i-base sa kung anong gusto niyang specialization. Kasi for sure, magbabago pa yung lahat. Mayroon akong kakilala, gusto niya maging surgeon, as in ever since high school, gusto niya talaga mag -surgeon, maging surgeon. Pagdating niya ng fifth year, which is yung postgraduate internship, biglang na-realize niya, gusto pala niya maging OB. So alam niyo yun, parang hindi pa siya definite kasi hindi mo pa naman siya na-experience first hand. So I guess, best advice is, kunin niyo na lang yung pre-med na feeling nyo interesting. Super dami kong kakilala na yung pre-med nila, either BS Music, meron din mga College of Business, um, Economics. And then next is, you don't need to buy all the books. Kasi maraming mga first year na syempre may list of books na binibigay per school. Sa amin may binigay na list of books. And sobrang Sobrang mahal ng books ng med school. And I suggest na mag-download na lang kayo ng PDF kasi marami naman yan mga higher batches na magpa-pass down sa inyo ng mga PDFs ng books. So yun na lang kasi mag-work din naman yan. And if hindi kayo sanay na PDF, you can just print yung chapter na kailangan. Kasi sometimes parang they just say na, ah, just read this chapter. So pwedeng i-print yun na lang and then just highlight. Super mas makakamura kayo kasi sabihin nyo yung buong book. And hindi nyo naman mapabasa kasi minsan walang time. But that's still up to you. But um, ayun, for the books, ng first year, I highly recommend that you buy Netters, Atlas of Human Anatomy, and more if you really want para sa anatomy. Pero I never use more. I just used my chances. But I used Netter before. Basa tanegin yun lang yung mga higher batch or yung mga friends yun na makilala na higher batch ko ani pinaka kinagamit na book um, sa school na papasukan nyo. Kasi if you buy everything, tas hindi naman pala yun yung main source ng school nyo. Parang sayang lang yung pera. Kasi ang mahal ng books ng med school, guys. Kasi libo-libo talaga siya. It's no joke. And speaking of, you also don't need to buy fancy equipment yet. Kasi pag first year, wala pa naman kayong clinical subjects. It's more of anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. Ako, I got my step. This is my step. I got my stethoscope nung first year, pero hindi ko rin talaga siya nagamit. Ngayon ko lang siya nagagamit na second year kasi nag interview na kami ng patient and nag-physical exam na kami. Pero nung first year, hindi ko pa talaga siya nagamit. So, if kaya niya namang i-delay yung pagbili 
you can do so. Kasi, eh, hindi niya pa siya masyadong magagamit. You also don't need to buy yung mga super mamahala na ophthalmoscope or otoscope. Nasa 14,000 ata yun. Sobrang mahal. But if super gusto niya talaga, I'm not stopping you. I'm just saying na hindi niya pa kailangan. Siguro yung ibang tao gusto for inspiration, ganyan. Nakita na ako sa habit. Go lang. I'm not stopping you. Pero ayun. You'll be using your stethoscope pag second year. Next is make new friends. Noong first few weeks ng med school namin, um, lagi ko lang kasama is yung friend ko from undergrad. And then, kakain lang kami ng lunch dito sa kondo ko. Akit kami. Hindi kami makapag-socialize. But then, after a while, tinry namin ako kasama sa iba. Sumasama na kami pag lunch. And then, ayun. Super good friends na kami ng markada ko now in med school. And ayun. Basta for me, it's important to make new friends in med school. If wala kang friends, parang mas nakaka-burn out mag-aral. Kasi at least if you have friends, and mahirap yung med school, you suffer together. So parang mas masaya in a way kahit you're suffering. Kasi para-pareho kayo na pinagdadaanan. In the future, kung maging doctor na to, pwede kayong mag-refer-refer kasi friends na kayo. So if let's say OB yan, and i-refer ko yung patient ko dyan, ganyan. And then join orgs if you can. May mga orgs pa rin yun sa med school. Meron din pala rung medisina yung tinatawag. So if, if athlete kayo and sporty, pwede kayong sumali sa ganun. Meron ding dance competition, singing competition, I think, um, Yung pangalan is Med Groove, Med Rhythmia. So, MGMR yung tawag. And expect nyo then na you will unintentionally gain or lose weight in med school. Hindi talaga siya mapipigilan. Other people that I know, um, pag nasa-stress na sila, nakawala na yung appetite nila, tapos hindi na talaga sila kumakain para mas makafocus sila, kasasayang yung time, ganyan. Ako kasi gusto ko mag-stress eat. Ang sarap kumain pag stress ka, parang extra sarap yung pagkain. So, ayun, tinatry ko na bumili ng mga healthy snacks para habang nasa-stress ako, yun yung kinakain ko. Pero minsan, ang hirap talaga. Pero ayun, pag long exams, grabe talaga. Actually, may acute pharyngitis ako now kasi nung long exams, Nilaklak ko lahat ng chocolates dito sa condo kasi ang sarap talagang kumain pag stressed ka. So anyway, ayun, nag-oomeprazole ako now kasi may acute pharyngitis ako from the chocolates na na-stress eat ko nung long exam. Pero don't get me wrong, may mga kakilala ako may time pa rin mag-gym. As in, everyday sila nag-gym. May kakilala ako, shout out kay Robin. Kahit long exams, nag-gym pa rin siya. Doon siya nag-aaral. Kaya naman daw. Hindi ko ma-imagine yung sarili ko. Pero if gym freaks talaga kayo, if you really love the gym, kaya naman daw. Next is, you really have to skip on birthdays sometimes or parties or events. Kasi hindi mapipigilan kasi may quiz ka the next day or may paper ka or may exam. And I guess that's okay. And sana maintindihan ng friends nyo kasi yes, para sa future nyo naman to. Pero it's gonna suck kasi syempre parang one time nagkaroon ng reunion yung org ko nung college. And super dami nila na nandun nakakilala ko. And sobrang gusto kong pumunta pero hindi talaga pwede kasi may quiz ako for anatomy the next day. Kaya ayun, I had to sacrifice. And okay naman kasi pumasa ako ng quiz pero get, parang ang saklap lang na wala ka dun. Pero ayun, I'm pretty sure na if true friends talaga yung friends yun na nandun, may intindihan nila na you have to study. And syempre ayaw nyo din naman na skip out pero kailangan talaga. So, but, but don't forget to still make time for other things kahit busy. So if may hili kayo magbasa ng books, if may time, magbasa pa rin kayo. Or if mahilig kayo manood ng TV shows or movies. If may time, go. Kasi if puro aral lang kayo, nakaka-burnout talaga. If kaya naman and if na time management niya naman siya, why not? So, minsan yung iba, yung makakalala ko, mag-aaral talaga in advance para makasama lang sa party, ganyan. So, yun. It's up to you to compromise and to manage your time. Super important nung guys, time management. Eventually, along the way, matututunan nyo rin siya. Um, next is, your expectations of med school in general might not be met and that's okay, especially grades-wise. So, syempre, incoming first year ka, syempre gusto mo yung grades mo mataas, ganyan. And, ang hirap talaga. And minsan, kahit anong aral mo, parang hindi pa rin enough. Wow! <laughs> Pero totoo, parang kahit anong aral ko talaga minsan nung first year, kahit binasa ko na yung book, nag-trans na ako, and then nag-notes pa ako, minsan hindi pa rin enough. And parang ang hirap kasi parang tinatake ko against myself. Pero you have to understand that it's okay. You have to accept na parang ang hirap talaga kasi ng med school. Hindi lang naman ikaw for sure yung nahirapan. I guess, kaya sabi ko rin kanina, it's important to make new friends. You suffer together. Pero ayun, marami akong kilala na prone to depression. 
um, in med school kasi masyadong mataas yung expectations nila for themselves. Hindi nila na-attain yung expectations na yun. So, ayun. Please don't be too hard on yourself pag nangyari yun. And talk to friends, talk to family members. If tingin nyo naging serious na talaga, don't be afraid to ask for help if may guidance counselor yung school nyo or magpa-psych consult if may nararamdaman kayong something wrong with yourself. There's nothing wrong with getting help. And I guess lastly, rest. And don't quit. Kasi babalik tayo from the start na yun. Yung unang-una sabi ko, med is hard. And sometimes nakakapagod talaga. Sobra. Pero just rest. And okay yung mag-quit. Kasi after nyo matapos yung first year, one-fourth doctor na kayo. <laughs> you have three more years na lang. And super bilis talaga nung time. I promise. Parang kailan lang na-start ko yung YouTube channel ko. First year ako. Tapos bigla ngayon, patapos na ako sa second year. Ilang months na lang. I guess like around three months na lang or so. Tapos na ako sa second year. Ganun din yung mangyari sa inyo. Kasi super busy kayo. So hindi nyo mararamdaman yung time na nagpa-pass by. But ayun, just don't quit. Keep fighting. Kasi by the end, we all know magiging sulit yan. Kasi makukuha niyo rin yung two letters at the end of your name. Ayan, if may nanonood dito na med students na like higher batch, if may advice kayo for incoming freshman med students and may na-miss ako dito, don't hesitate na i-comment down below. And if you have more questions about first year med school, uh, just leave a comment also down below. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and click the like button and... Ayun. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!